Hello, my fellow gamers. This is your Point and Critic Gamer here, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Sherlock Holmes The Awakened. Now, we're just about to head into the, into the swamp. Let's just talk to Champagne if he can take us there. Good evening, sir. We are interested in a short trip along the bayou into the nearby swamp. Yep. My mouth, nobody but some fool go in that swamp at night. Come back tomorrow. We'll champagne take you then for a fact. No, sir. It is of the gravest importance that we could go to the swamp and tonight. No I ways see. to get there. Unless you have some boat hereabouts. Now, I can sell you the boat, but tell you true, you get your own sales to the swamp. I believe All we right. can find some manner of payment that mm -hmm. you will find satisfactory. We shall return. Well, why should I shall return? I just need to give him the money I have right now. Well, you know what? I could have, have just shoot him to in buy the a boat, sir. Or threaten him For sure. Gun. Excellent. Right. Could you tell us the best way to reach the swamp area nearest to the rich parish? That's simple enough for any fool. Sail mm -hmm. along the river crook and keep close to the shore. There is one last service you can do for us. The mm. boat from which we disembarked is scheduled to leave tomorrow for Europe. Could you take a message to the crew for us? We may need for them to hold their departure until 8 o'clock in the morning. Okay. We'll do. Okay. And one last thing. How may we identify Old Sam's racks from any others? Old Sam's racks be marked with blue and white tops. Okay. All right. We're heading into the swamp at night. Now, Watson, Ooh. let's explore this swamp. Creepy. All right. He's moving in the boat pretty damn fast for someone who's rowing. Here is the hidden passage near old Sam's racks. We are on the right course, Watson. All right. <laughs> Did you hear that noise? God. It's like an echo. The sound's stacking when I... All right. Um, okay, we're heading in the right track, okay, I think. No, I think we need to go back. Maybe I'm supposed to... Let's see, can we get... Come on, we're fine. We gotta find our way. Oh, look at that. That's not pleasant. And we're not gonna even bother thinking about it, I guess. We're talking about it. Oh, we just saw a mutilated corpse. And I guess it's this direction. Oh, oh, we're going the wrong way, that's yellow. God, what the hell is with that? It's like a... Ah, look, there's another blue one. Up. Ah. Here is the hidden passage near old Sam's racks. <gasps> we are on the right course, Watson. All right. Ooh. That... That rock's really covered blood. in blood. Here now. This is hardly reassuring. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Look at that. But what is this horror, Holmes? Where have you taken us? Near the girl, uh, Watson. Near the girl. Uh, a tree full of dead people. Oh. Good God! Look in the water! What monsters! No, Watson. They are crocodiles, and yeah. apparently not very accommodating. Hmm. I can think of nothing useful. What are we to do, Holmes? We must find some enticing food to lure them away from here, Watson. Well, Let us think. Holmes, I fail to see how they feed these creatures, and do not rely on me to dive in. Eh, well, luckily we're near a, <laughs> near a tree that's full of corpses, and we have a gun. Oh, there we go. Here is what will draw these reptiles in that direction and free the passage. Ah, much better. But let's hurry and get ourselves across before um, we become their next course. They're still there. But... <laughs> Apparently, the thought they either jump cut out of existence or move around. Well, not jump cut. I mean, like, they pop out. Why did I say jump cut? Uh, 
Uh, would you quit whining? Attention, Watson. We arrive. Stand ready. Here oh. now. This is hardly reassuring. Yeah, you said that already. All right. Watson, see what you can do for this poor man. His servant took a harsh and terrible revenge by letting him go to these wild men. As for the others, I'm afraid we are too late. Yeah, I would say they don't. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they can be saved. Pitiable oh. and blind fools! Are you not aware of the Great One's arrival? Even now. His servants are coming across his kingdom, and the enlightened will give up their flesh to him. Uh, All will be present for his awakening. Okay. Do not fight the calling. <laughs> uh, Soon you will end his dreaming, and your world will uh, be his feet are whole. clipping into Bow the ground. Down and give thanks. You are the food of his new world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've got it home. <laughs> that was uh, some really great looking uh, shooting effects. <laughs> I mean, God damn, what? Yeah, yeah, I have a gun. You hear a gunshot, but there's no bullet or any form of signs of a bullet coming out or anything. <laughs> the guy just like has a slow reaction. Yeah, look at that thing. This sinister figure was also a cannibal. Bored by seafood, was he? <laughs> God damn. I don't think we can save this guy. He has no organs, he has no head, and he only has a foot. I think I don't know how he'll throw up five and this guy apparently has the ability to clip in through objects, his arms now in there. And the bunny. And look who it is, Cthulhu. How are you doing, Cthulhu? It's a long time no see. Okay, what do you need? Uh, the statue? Oh. Where, where did that come from? What a strange book. I've never seen these idioms before. How perfect. It'll provide welcome diversion during our return voyage. Alright. But uh, I guess we should head back. Uh, we'll leave you behind. See ya! Okay, I know, we'll take you with us. Holmes, help me to carry him to the boat. I really can't say if he will survive the voyage back. Why do I have to help? <laughs> Alright, we're back here. And it's morning. Wait, I don't even think he had a knife at that in that scene. By the devil, will that be Arneson? Indeed. Do you know someone who can be accommodating and tend to him? You take yourselves round and seize that little Lucy what lives on the boat. Uh -huh. I know where Lucy is. Please, help my friends to lift this poor man to the wharf, and I will go find Miss Lucy. What can we do for you, my pretty one? Dear madam, could you tell Lucy that we have found Mr. Anson and tell her to hurry? This may be her last chance to see him while he still breathes. Okay. Lucy! Lucy! Ah, here you are. This gentleman found your fella. <laughs> My God, uh, can't shouldn't you be you? yelling sure out like enough, we're in a hurry or something? Say. Come on, he's almost dying. What have they done with you? Oh, my poor love. <laughs> wow. They really tried their hardest to make it look like she's crying. He has lost his so hands convincing. and is in deep shock. But with rest and tender care, he has a good chance to survive these injuries. And maybe colorizing oh, the oh wound madam, might help. Please. Please. <laughs> if I could have a moment, we found this sum of money, which is a large amount and belongs to Mr. Arnson. I think it is fair to entrust it to your care. Yep. Well, this seems all right, then. I will take good care of you. You'll see, my love. <laughs> About Anson's place, there was some disorder left there. If you could be a good man and set things right. You can count an old champagne for every little thing. Now, that's a fact. I can see our friend is in good hands. We better hurry, Watson. I see our ship is making ready to leave. All right. 
Well, we took care of that. So now we're heading back to London. Or, oh, we got a we got another Cthulhu statue, and we got the book. Weird writing. What the hell is he doing? Oh, 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 Holmes, are you at the in the drugs again? Watson, <laughs> I have told you several times now, I am not to be disturbed. But Holmes, you have been locked inside your cabin for all of four days now. Outside, the sun is simply radiant, and the wind from the sea. If you approach me, Watson, I will throw you out. Now, leave me. Okay. Last it all, Holmes. I am bored. I can't take these sailors' conversations for another minute. We have an understanding, Watson. Each to his purpose. I will look to the translation of the book. You are to study the figures written out by our young friend Davy. Now, get on with your task and leave me to mine. But you know that these enigmas are not my strong point. Or wouldn't you have some other task? which is better suited to my skills, Holmes. Hmm, of course. You're a man of letters, after all. So, return to the bridge, take your trusted notebook, and apply your mind to editing this small writing. Okay. Agreed. On what subject? Right. It is my monograph on the calculated trajectories of gull excretia. Good day, Watson. Okay. And I just slammed the door in front of his face. All right. <laughs> I see we have received a message, oh. undoubtedly from my brother Mycroft. And I was Dr. Watson for Maryland. Sherlock, you should receive a letter upon term from the Americans, your instructor, blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. Something, Doctor's Murderous, blah blah blah. Some more and more blah blah blahs and blah blah blahs and blah blah. Damn, this is a long letter. Okay, good. Strange. Here, read this, Watson. All right. Indeed. But the possession of such a treasure is an end in itself. Yeah. Why the devil go through with such an elaborate masquerade? Money is often the motive mm -hmm. of the basest acts, but not in this case. These are deep waters yeah. indeed, Watson. These people follow some other dark purpose, so desperate yep. that it justifies any sacrifice and great risk. You mm -hmm. frighten me, Holmes. I know. Sometimes I frighten myself. Enough of <laughs> yeah, idle speculations, sure Watson. It. I asked you to study the figures drawn by young Davy. No doubt mm -hmm. they are some cipher. What do you make of them? Well, I could try working hard as hell trying to figure it out, but no, I don't need to. Ew. Again, they still trust to walk through. Um, those, those bunch of numbers, from what I could gather, is you're supposed to... Um, you know, split them up into a row, into um, a section of eight numbers or something. And when you split them off, you'll notice that out of all eight, there will be one missing because there's, you know, there's nine, nine letters. I mean, nine numbers instead of excluding zero. And whatever that number is, that uh, number that is missing in that row of eight is the is the part of the code it's it, i don't know it's kind of confusing for me to explain i don't know how to describe it but and it would probably take forever so you know what i'm just going to type in the code for you you and there it is there's your code all right indeed they are open to but one possible meaning even if it eludes me at present. As for my own enigma, I have failed to penetrate the secrets of this book. The language right. is archaic, and my own modest knowledge of ciphers is sorely tested. I have succeeded in drawing forth only insanities and other absurdities. According to this book, if my translation is exact, mm -hmm. if one makes this mark with human blood, and then with conviction recites this illuminating verse, Gnarch, <laughs> Kudwalhliam, is hurt, splurh. Yes, the victim is mesmerized or demon to leave his mind. I tell you, Watson, this reads like complete gibberish. I do not know what to make of it. Hmm. How did you say it? Gnurth could do a... What? <laughs> These drawings, what a horror. Yeah. I tell you, Holmes, this book gives me great unease, as does almost everything to do with this affair. Mm. 
I just recalled, Watson. Didn't Barnes, the bookseller, tell us he had studied ancient history? Perhaps he might help us with the translation of this book. We must seek out better minds, for we are at a standstill. I have not the slightest idea where they could have taken these people and what consequences await them. Let's mm -hmm. take our leave and see if Barnes might be of assistance. All right. Yep, those crazy symbols. All right, we're now Sherlock Holmes. Time to go to the bookstore. And uh, apparently we poofed into smoke. Well, now it's the vent, but... There he is. Mr. Holmes, Dr. Watson, a real pleasure to see you. I say, where have you been? You've stayed away for some months now. Indeed, oh. we took a very long journey and barely made it back. However, <laughs> we have more important matters to discuss. Didn't you say you have some knowledge of ancient people? Their language, writings, and customs? Indeed, I did, Mr. Holmes. Why mm -hmm. do you ask? Well, we got this very creepy book. For you. You are just the man we need. I ran across this esoteric text during our travels and wondered if... Is there something wrong, <laughs> Barnes? Well... Mr. Holmes, wherever did you find this? This book, it is worthy of a museum. If you could be so good as to translate some of these fragments for me, I would be in your debt. I am particularly interested in these pages here. They are in the poorest condition and therefore appear to be the most used. Hmm. Yep. With pleasure, I will get to work straight away and keep you informed of my progress. All right. Well, um, I don't know what else to do here, so let's go back to my place. Ah, let's talk to the paper boy. Hi. How are you doing, buddy? Is everything going well? All right, I'll talk to you. Strand! Get the strand! Three ships strand. still missing at sea! All aboard feared lost! Is Get the strand! British word for latest word on the missing ships! Give me the latest edition. There's a good lad. Thank oh. you, mister. And blah 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 blah. <laughs> ah, look at the funny cartoon. Look at the funny cartoon. There's probably a crisis written on here, but I don't care. I just care about the funny little cartoon. Eventually, shut up, blah, blah, blah. Watson, consider the news of all these missing ships. Right. I have an idea, but it will be necessary to secure a chart for the Scotland coast and nearby seas. No point in asking Barnes. I have no desire to divert his attention from the mm -hmm. translation. True right. enough, Holmes. But where else would we find such a chart? Well, one of the first locations we went to was... Uh... This place. It's elementary. It is a sea chart we seek. Yep. We must go to the harbor. Yeah. Pretty easy to put the two to two together. All right. Oh, hello, bartender. Good day, sir. Good morning to you, gentlemen. <laughs> is it, is Would you care for a pint or perhaps something finer? You gotta love how always Thank you. Do, like, but the at the moment, I have need of ground. information and will have to miss another glass of your fine ale. More's the pity. Would you happen to know where I could find charts of the local waters? They are all kept at the harbour master's office, but mm -hmm. I'm afraid only those with port business are allowed to enter. I trust you understand. Precisely. What I need is a chart of the Scottish area where all those ships have wrecked recently. Mm. Indeed. Such a sad tale. All those poor souls lost at sea. It seems as if the very devil is at work there. Or Hang Cthulhu! On. A chart of the Scotland coastline, you said. It seems to me I have one in my room over there, behind the bar. Here's the key. Take it and have a look for yourself. If you find it, it's yours for the taking. Why, thank you. You are a great bartender. All right. A uh, picture of Lord Rustedson. A photograph of Rochester as a young man. Oh, all right. I have what we need, Watson. Okay. Now, let's examine this map. All right, well, this will be difficult to figure out, but luckily again, as I always say, thanks to the trustiness of walkthroughs, I don't have to look through this whole thing. Uh, basically, it's uh, around this area. 
And if you recall that code I gave, it's longitude and latitude, so we just find the longitude and latitude, and it's Watson, this area. That's what those mysterious figures meant. Longitude yep. and latitude. They indicate a point along the Scottish coast called mm -hmm. Ardenamurkham. Let's bring back the key to the tavern keeper and see if he knows this place. All right, let's ask him. All right. Did you find everything to your liking? Indeed, mm -hmm. you are as good as your word. I found the charts, just as you said. Does the name Ardna Merkham mean anything to you? Ah, mm. yes. It's a lighthouse along that very coastline. Legend has it, the place was built over a pirate's hideaway. In fact, now that I think on it, that spot is right in the middle of the tempest that is taking down all those ships. Ooh, Rather odd-looking building. They say the chap who built it, Stevenson, I believe his name was, that he fancied up the entrance with foreign symbols, Egyptian obelisks and, and even a dog with wings. Strange Ooh. fixings for a lighthouse, isn't it? Hmm. That is suspicious. All right, well, uh, I guess we're done with you, so let's head back to the bookstore, I guess. Back to the bookstore. What the hell? I clicked the bookstore. Why did it take me back to Baker, to my place? There, thank you. I do not mess with the teleportation of the great Sherlock Holmes. All right. So did Mr. Holmes, it? I was able to translate the pages that you wanted. Come, I All will right. show you. Great. This book is quite ancient. It tells of a terrifying sect devoted to strange entities. The descriptions are vague, but we can mm -hmm. presume the origin of this myth arises from the destructive Leviathan represented in the Bible, a creature said to sleep and dream in a strange city under the sea. Yeah, the creature a nightmare sleeping is within Cthulhu. the sea. To be exact, the pages you asked me to translate are in fact a prayer or invocation to this entity and the description of the ceremony associated with it. Mm -hmm. To be frank, what is described in this book would make one laugh, were it not for its reliance on such horribly obscene, morbid, and bloodthirsty language. And this ceremony, what can you tell me about it? Promise me, you will not laugh. <laughs> the book says that hundreds or thousands of years ago, during the particular <laughs> That's what alignment of the <laughs> stars, a priest performed these rites, invoking the name of a destructive <laughs> leviathan. The priest intoned Cthulhu. his name and called for his return to this earth so mm -hmm. his followers could give him his due. The priest then asked a representative of each nation on the earth to recite the invocation and sacrifice themselves to the sea from atop a colossal natural rock tower mm. surrounded by water. All this is okay, quite absurd, isn't house. it? Pray yep. continue, Barnes. As you like. Mm -hmm. It goes on to say that the ceremony must be held under the image of the messenger of the outside gods. Nothing more exact is said on these entities. However, from their description, their messenger would have a form rather close to the Egyptian Sphinx, except okay. that his face is without feature and jet black in colour. So an idol in its likeness must be present during the ceremony. But can you imagine that? Some so-called priest and an international crowd atop a tower singing in unison before <laughs> some faceless winged stone lion? I can imagine it very well, Barnes. You say that these people are to throw themselves into the sea so that their god will have his due. But what is it about? What does this god seek? Hmm. That's the most preposterous part of this tale and proves it to be pure myth and fancy. Yeah. Even for the sake of argument, this ceremony mm -hmm. could never have happened. In such ancient times, it would have been quite impossible to gather representatives from every nation on Earth and in one place. I understand, Barnes. Humor me a bit more and please answer my last question. Yeah. What would this Leviathan want from us? Hmm. Indeed, we would owe this creature our world. According to this, complete the ceremony and the collective sacrifice, invoke the demon, and he will arise and swallow the earth. <laughs> yes, Holmes, they sought nothing less than the end of the world. <laughs> what nonsense! <laughs> <laughs> it might actually happen. I receive now. Goodbye. 
I know, so maybe not, but... <laughs> the newspaper dating before our departure. Watson, find it. There was some article about the current alignment of the stars. Ah. This may tell us precisely how much time we have left. But Holmes, surely you can't believe... The newspaper, Watson. Find that newspaper. All right. Oh, I guess we're already going to head over to the lighthouse. To the lighthouse. It... Okay. <laughs> Look, Watson, the light is barely lit. This explains the shipwrecks and recent disappearances. Okay. Holmes, if we do not find a place like to shit. land, and soon, I fear they will add our names to those poor souls lost in these seas. Uh-huh. Oh my god! Holmes! Look! Yep. The sea! It just swallowed him! Lambs oh, for the yes. slaughter! Watson, we must stop this! Yep. Alright, well, there's the sacrifice. It's going. Oh, look at that thing. They took particular pains to give this statue a featureless black face. Ooh, I'll take that. It is sealed tight from the inside. Uh, the this open? door is designed to resist even the most furious of assaults. A oh. millennium will pass before I find entry with this toothpick. <laughs> Watson, right. we can't enter by the big door. Perhaps these pirate legends can help us. All right, I guess we have to take advantage of the pirate legends. Now, I have to say, this area, when it comes to the graphic capabilities, this this looks like crap. This this area. I have to admit myself. It, it looks very lazily done. The other areas, well, yeah, the graphic style was not that great. At least there was some like form of designs and stuff, like art direction and stuff. This area this is just like... This rope is hardly oh. reliable, but it's the best that we have. This is just, let's make a blank area with just a bunch of rocks have no indication of the sky, mostly. I mean, I can see a bit of cloud-like thing, and the rain is all right. But, I mean, this area just looks like crap with the rock areas. And, uh, the lighthouse looks fine, but the area with the rocks are just, like, pla plastered on. Yeah, I would have to say this area looks like shit. Well, it's the geysers. Watson, here mm -hmm. are three geezers of seawater. Geezers. We could do well to remember what McGrinch's man said before they slit his throat. Okay. Uh, I think we are supposed to go up here. <laughs> Towards the bowl head rock. This must be the place. Oh. You know my methods, Watson. Let's examine the soil closely. All right. Um. <laughs> that was easy. Well, there's a hole. I begin to think those pirate tales are more than mere superstitions. Yep. You may well be right, Holmes. And about the ghost? Who knows, <laughs> Watson? Who knows? Holmes! <laughs> yeah, this is like a time to laugh. Come on, Watson. We are men of science. Time to laugh. A real this. danger waits for us in this lighthouse, if we reach it. To reassure you, I will take the lead and go down first. Mm -hmm. Let's see. It seems to me it is rather an abrupt descent. How should we go about this? Uh... Well, luckily, I think I grabbed this rope. All right, I'm heading down. Down. Ooh. Holmes! Holmes! Can you hear me? Holmes! Are you all right? No, I'm dead. <laughs> what do you think? Don't worry, Watson. Mm -hmm. I appear to still be in one piece. Yeah. This rope is finished. Mm -hmm. But fortune is on our side, as the lantern is undamaged. Oh, well, that's good. This ground is unstable. I dare not take a step without the light. Holmes! Mm -hmm. I will try what the to hell's join going you. on there? No, Watson. Stay this where you elbow, are. Uh, this rope is spark useless. Sparkling? We are quite separated, my friend. I will try to find the way to the lighthouse alone. Although, to be honest, I would feel much better with a weapon at my side. Mm -hmm. No, keep your pistol. It could discharge if dropped. Mm -hmm. Here now, I have an idea. Toss me that iron bar instead. All right. Watch out! 
Watson, what rotten luck. It is stuck. <laughs> Holmes, I can't understand what, what you are saying. What the hell is with the sparks? The little flashes of light? What out. the hell? Bad luck. The hole must be blocked with debris. From mm -hmm. now on, I have only my wits to serve me. <laughs> Damn with his arm facing through. It is... I didn't... We didn't even get to see what happened to the bar. They couldn't bother showing anything? All right. Well, we're now in the caverns. Oh. Hey, that guy. This skeleton has fossilized. It must have been here for years. Yeah. The only foe I could hope to beat with that is a serving of pudding. And <laughs> even then, only if it were lightly prepared. Okay. I need something. Wait, is this supposed to be a door? <laughs> Apparently it is. Alright. Ooh, this is a big place. Uh, hi there. How you doing? Not good, I suppose. Oh, devil. Alcohol has killed him. I think the fact of being hung would, would probably kill him. Alright, I've well, got some alcohol. Oh. This box is almost untouched. Moreover, someone has taken care to seal it against the elements with a cover and tar. Well, let's break it open. Yay! Sails, sails, and more sails. They might serve as rags. We shall see. Mm. Well, up here. Yes, there is something here. Wait. You know, here's something I'm kind of questioning. Um, I'm not in it. I don't know, but is it supposed to be dark, but there is no dark lighting? Is he saying like he sees something, but he can't, but I can clearly see it's a barrel. He liked his drink. Mm. Apparently too much. Ah, still some left. <gasps> this drink twists a man's gut at least 95 degrees, and age has not improved it. Okay. Uh, apparently his body has uh, blended into the wall, his crotch area. This okay. should prove useful. That's gotta be a bitch. Mm. This oh. will do nicely as a ladder. All right. Okay. All right, now this part I remember. This is kind of silly. I must find a way to move this without breaking it. Well, here we go. How convenient. Apparently... And there, it is done. Um, apparently, it's supposed to be really dark. And I'm not supposed to be able to see that without the light. I don't know what the hell if it, if it's a graphical bug or something. Uh, all right. Um, ladder. There we go. All right. What have we here? A powder keg. Hmm. It has been sealed tight, so the powder inside may still be of use. Okay. Um. Can I use it? And there, it is done. Alright, I filled up the powder. Um, I guess I made myself a bomb. Oh, good, I can take my liner back. Okay. Uh, give me back my lantern. <laughs> good thing I can reach it. Uh, do I need to put a bomb here? Oh, no, I, I could just climb over the rocks. Hey, right, that wasn't too good. I am still alive, <laughs> but I have broken my lantern. Oh, great. Well, that's just peachy. Apparently, I abandoned it. Perhaps if I call out, Watson will hear me. Let's see. Watson! Oh! What? <laughs> is, is that the g g g ghost? <laughs> Watson! You it's dumbass! Me, Holmes! The ghost of Holmes? <laughs> oh, no! Whatever are you up to now? Watson! Woohoo! Watson! Huh. <laughs> I didn't realize they had the funnel equipped. Oh, good. Watson, here you are, at last. It yeah. is definitely me, Holmes. 
Don't worry, I am here at my post and steady as a rock. Rather hard of hearing lately. Sorry, my dear Watson. Would you happen to have some matches on you? Oh, well, yes. Take these. Thank you, Watson. You've done all you can. Now go and find some shelter from this storm. I believe I'm on the right path now. All right. No bother at all, Holmes. I will be close by. Just call out, and I'm your man. All right. There's a good man. Where would I be without my Boswell? I don't know. Was that supposed to be a compliment or something? I don't know. Um... Okay, uh... Unequivocally, alcohol has destroyed everything here. Alright. Some of these bones have fossilized over time. Mm. I could use them as torch handles. Oh, well, let's make a torch. Alright, and then we wrap it around that, and we add a match. And voila! To fall into this crevice would mean certain death. You don't say. Um... Oh. Ah! Yep, you know what? If I could move this rock, I believe I could go further. I need something. Okay, uh... Rag. The bomb is... Oh, I didn't hear that. Alright. Oh, that worked. Oh. Took like some kind of leather belt or something. What the hell is this thing? I need something. Uh, do I have anything? A bone? I need something. Nope. All right. Eight. Um. Oh, well, I can interact with this. All right, well, I'm gonna try to see if I can do this properly with the walkthrough. Um, okay. Oh. Is done. All right. Impossible. So, what did I do? This should prove useful. What is it? It's wrong. I need something. Impossible. All right. This lattice may be covered with rust, but it appears quite strong. All right. Um. There we go. I need something. I need something. What do you need? This? I need something. Uh, okay. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. And then ah, it's, it's a done. belt. I thought it was something to stick in the hole, but no, it's a belt. There we go. And there, it is done. All right. Oh, there's a bunch of holes in the ground. This well must empty directly into an underground river. Oh, that one has a... This well must empty directly into an underground river. Yeah, they all do. This well yep. must empty... Di we don't need to hear that again. This well we must empty... This well <laughs> must empty that. directly into an underground river. Look at that, with the... Alright, so this one... This well must empty directly into an underground river. I guess I need to contact Watson again, maybe? Uh, I guess I might have to. Let's see. Hold on. Oh, oh my... See, uh, boop, 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 boop. Wait, I don't have that thing anymore? Okay, I guess I can't, don't need to talk to Watson. Alright. No? 
I'm gonna need to. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yes, there is something here. To fall into this crevice would mean certain death. Yeah. Uh, I guess I need to make more. I can't do. Yeah. All right. Hold on. There we go. All right. So maybe I need to knock a boulder down. I need something. Uh, bone? I need something. What the hell? Um, okay. Maybe the belt. I could use the belt as a rope. There we go. There we go. Down we go. Alright. <sighs> More of these. Oh. Do I fall down in this? Oh no, I'm good. Alright, Hugh. What the hell? Oh, a pig leg! I don't know. That's what a pirate needs a pig leg. Egg. Um. Uh. Is that supposed to be a rock, but it's clippingly messed up? I think it's supposed to be something, but it, it looks messed up. Am I. Um. There we go. Oh, gee, I wonder how this is going to work. <laughs> Pig leg? Only a person with a wooden leg should open this door. Only a person with a wooden leg should open this door. There we go. Ooh, the treasure. The treasure was poorly concealed after all. Why, even a child could have found it. Now we must move on to more serious concerns. Hmm, could this be a way back to the lighthouse? Right, well, let's take the sword. A truly magnificent piece, and in such good condition. Well, I wouldn't say about the character model. The treasure was poorly concealed, after all. Why, even a child could have found it. Okay, yeah, I heard that already. Okay, uh, can we take this stuff with me? I guess Sherlock has no interest in treasure. He's a dumbass. I cannot leap across, as it is too far. Watson, where is my Boswell when I need him? Where's my Boswell? Watson! Watson! Here are my homes! Did you find a way to reach the lighthouse? Mm -hmm. Not yet, but I'm working on it. I need your help. Could you recover the mast of one of these shipwrecked boats and throw it through the fissure? A mast, you say? Throw it through the fissure? I will do what I can, Holmes! All right. Hurry, Watson! I cannot leap across, as it is too far. Watson, where is my Boswell when I need him? I just called him. Oh, there we go. Hey, I still have the hammer. That's a big hole. All right. Well, I recall seeing shipwreck pieces over here, so let's head over there. Why do I? Wait. I have nothing in my inventory. Why did I hit it? Why was there a hammer equipped? Um. Why can't I pick up any of these boards? work all right I guess not um. I 
already up here. I don't see anything. Okay. I'm kind of moving pretty slow. Ah, here we go. I thought I'd, over there would be a line, but I guess not. Alright, that works. Is there anything else I need specifically? No, okay. Is this a hole? Uh, no. Ah, there we go. <laughs> I just needed to go all the oh, turn around and go over the way there. I didn't have to walk all the way over to that side. <laughs> okay, man. Thank you, Watson. Uh, <laughs> it just kind of... Yeah, it's just fun. Alright. And here's the letter. This light must come from inside the lighthouse. What is that ungodly stench? No time for speculation. I must lift this stone. Mm -hmm. Alright, here we go. Heading up to the lighthouse. Oh God! Oh, God! What the hell? What the hell? I am very happy that. Oh my God! What sort of madman could? <laughs> yeah. If we are to find out, we must find a way to reach the top of the lighthouse. Yeah. Dear Lord, is that poison? I guess must be. Uh. <coughs> these lamps produce a lethal smoke. We must stop these fires and quickly. A bucket and some water. Hurry, Watson. Okay. Uh, where's a bucket? Uh. Well, let's try the broken building. Taking our slow ass time. There we go. Right. Uh, where did we get water? Uh, from the. Can I get water from these things? Where can I get water? Uh, let's. I can't get water down there. Where the hell do I get water? Oh, I shall take this. I must return to the lighthouse and quickly. All right. Couldn't really tell where the because those other areas look like they have water, but maybe they were just holes in the ground. Oh, thanks, Watson. Thanks for helping me out. Bravo, Holmes. <laughs> How clever you are, Mr. Holmes and Dr. <laughs> right. Watson. You discovered our trail and found this fool, Arneson. Ah, oh, my dear Arneson, please tell me how his hand and all that goes on in his head. <laughs> I am Ashma, true believer of the great old ones. Trimble are you holding that gun or is it glued you with to your hand? Stuff you with octopus. <laughs> octopus. You know what's octopus? Cthulhu. Hmm, very interesting. Alright. Huh? Bravo, Holmes! Uh, it's not fire at me, which I guess is good. <laughs> Checking if there's anything here. <laughs> yep, you just keep shooting at him, not me. I'm, I'm not the important one. 
I'm not the one trying to stop you. Um, Alright, let's see. Bravo, Holmes! I go through here? Yeah, alright. Um, I'm fairly concerned to get close to him. Bravo, Holmes! <laughs> I'm worried to get close to this guy because I fear he's gonna shoot me. Oh, good. There's an invisible wall to prevent me. Um. Where? Okay, you guys are still fighting. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, I cleared those poison pots. Oh. Oh, that cleared the poison. <laughs> the guy's just running up the stairs now, silly. Who did the- Hurry up, Holmes. What does that one do? Nothing. Okay. I couldn't see them. They were, like, hard to spot. Yeah, I thought they were, like, just a decoration of the stairs, but I guess... <laughs> Alright, time to head up the stairs. Take caution. He is most certainly waiting for us upstairs. Yep. I will try to lure him into range, and this mm -hmm. time, take aim at his head. Yep. Holmes, but I have no more bullets. Oh. Then fate is against us, Watson. Unless, if his belief is his strength, perhaps it is also his weakness. Hmm. All right. I need something. Oh, um, do I have uh, some like a? I need something. All right. Oh, here is the place. Now to find some blood and draw the sign of the great old ones. I need something. Okay. Um, I need something. All right. Uh. There we go. All right. Now I just need to. Do this, which is not that hard because, again, luckily, walk through. Oh, I got that right. No, oh, wait, I messed up. This isn't right. Yeah. Perhaps if I begin again. Yeah, shut up, Holmes. Alright, uh. There we go. Oh. No, oh, that's not right. Yeah, I messed up again. <laughs> I messed up again. <laughs> this isn't right. Yeah, 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 shut up. Shut up. It's hard to choose which is which when it comes to these symbols. Alright. Alright, and let's see. I think it's. There we go. Okay. Then we go. And I'm guessing. And there. Oh. It is done. Excellent. Alright, now what? I am missing something. The place the board somewhere? Oh! There we go. Gnach, Kud, Holland, Silus, Dicke, Subala, Hall. Oh. <laughs> uh, why are bullets still flying? Or some? Did he kill himself or something? I don't know what happened. Oh, shit, don't, don't, shit. Some crazy stuff. All right, um, let's head up. All right. 
It is locked. The only way in is to batter it down. Uh, um, okay, let's see. It is locked. The only way in is to batter it down. Alright, um, let's Oh, that work? What the hell just happened? Your friend will have a hard time, and you too, my friend. The girl, the thing, the guy just like faced through the wall, and I heard like stuff falling. Oh. Oh. Kill me! You're too late. Nothing will stop the master from finishing his work. Okay. And why is that? The door is locked with a padlock, and as long as my friend's alive, you'll never have that key. He surely crushed your pathetic friend. Believe me, he's a better man in a fight than me. See to your prattle. Where is the key? <laughs> Here comes my friend. Where is the key? <laughs> Listen, you fool. What is the good of this great event if you lose your head and hands to a sword? You're right, uh. my dear. Anyway, you'll never get that key so long as my friend's alive. He has it deep and safe in his own... Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> okay, that was a funny way of him dying. Oh, uh, did I miss something? Holmes, I am in time. As always, Watson, as always. Yep. I was quite fortunate. The fall broke the neck of my attacker. But I got off lightly, just some bruises. Yep. I am happy okay. to see you safe and sound. Now, we must reach the top of the lighthouse. Hmm. Yeah, we still have to get there. Um... Still your weird chance. What the hell? Did you see that weird clipping? Up. Oh. Yeah, it's a weird lighting glitch. Well, I definitely know I'm gonna need to. Lots of the kill quickly go up. All right. All right. The door is securely fastened and with a formidable lock. The man over there, or rather down there, he told me that while this Hindi was alive, I couldn't have the key. Now, where could he have hidden it? In his belly. Oh. There we go. You do not think that he could have... Yes, Watson, you once again grasped the obvious. <laughs> he must have swallowed the key. I will have to... No, Holmes. I am the doctor here, and we have little time. All right. Sword? Yep. <laughs> well, that worked. I need something. I got it equipped. All right, here we go. We're uh, finally at the top of the lighthouse. Uh, why can't I move? Oh, now I can. Watson! Mm-hmm. <laughs> what people are falling to their tombs. At last, here you are. Our informants did not lie. You are a most resourceful and cunning man. And you will have your reward, for you will be in the first box waiting his return. He is near. Can't you hear him? Can't you feel his breath? Leave mm. them. It is time to stop this madness, Lord Rochester. All those people <laughs> sacrificed for nothing. Flesh. Nothing but soft <laughs> flesh. Think of your mother. She never gave up. She always loved you. Always searched for you. A soft-fleshed creature with no more value than dust. 
My true mother is the deep blue abyss where my master awaits. <laughs> he summons me to join the light of abyss. Join us, Holmes, okay. and you will be part of the dream. Sing with me now. Sing. Do something, Holmes. I won't be able to keep them back for much longer. And, and, my God, the sea is rising. Holmes, make haste, or we are lost. Stand firm, Watson. There may be a way. Yep, they're still trying to commit suicide. The light. I found it, Watson. Light dispels darkness. I must fire up the lighthouse. All right. Hold fast, Watson. I must continue searching or all is lost. Okay. Hold fast, Watson. I guess I can't go out. All right. Okay, let's see. So I'm gonna just solve this puzzle quick again with one room. Okay. All right. Hold fast, Watson. Yeah, I already heard you. Okay, I think. Bravo, Holmes. Ah, no, no, cast out this light! Continue the ceremony! Sing! We must sing! Okay, yes, that was You will it. never reach the end of your song, Rochester. Take heed as your <laughs> choir is leaving. Come with me. This place is dangerous. <laughs> you don't understand, Holmes. He is here. He has come. Rochester! I called you. You came. Take me. I belong to oh, you. Look. The world is <laughs> yours. Oh, <laughs> great. That was a really crappy wave. And apparently it came to the top of the lighthouse. Wow, that was some bad wave. A singular destiny was the fate of young Lord Rochester. Those who saved him from drowning in those dark waters off the Indian coast served only to cast him into the true abyss, that of madness, a mm -hmm. brilliant young man of noble blood whose intelligence was perverted to the service of appalling ancient rites. What did he see or envision that transformed him into such a beast? Cthulhu. To bring all those wretched souls to the slaughterhouse like so many <laughs> sheep. The then assemble a confederacy of criminals and a psychopaths dick. like the sinister Dr. Gijax, who used the sale of precious stones to ensure only the purest and most robust racial specimens were obtained for his purposes. Such men who would survive not only a long voyage imprisoned in the depths of a ship's hold, but the torture and drugs intended to hammer into their brains a sordid litany for the <laughs> end of Cthulhu ages. Dog. Monster and genius, one and the same. Are those supposed to be rocks? Or coal or something? Next was the discreet placement of his men in cities ideally located to secure representatives mm -hmm. of every nation on Earth. Blacks and Chinese gathered in the Americas, the people of Oceania and Asia in London, Eastern and Central Europeans gathered in Switzerland. Their delivery timed to the exact moment and place dictated by ancient rites and a precise uh -huh. stellar alignment. Finally, to find the only building perched over the water, where the builder had the convenient caprice to install Egyptian statues, mm -hmm. and then to eliminate the lone occupant, taking their place by posing as their nephew and traditional heir to the post. Did genius create the evil, or evil the genius? Hmm. I don't know. Wait, you are awake, it? Holmes? Your moans got the better of my sleep, Watson. I assume you had the nightmare again? Indeed, Holmes. And this time the memories of that dreadful adventure were so vivid and real. Mm. Everything came back to me, as if it were happening again. All the yeah. better, Watson. It is because you had begun to forget. The best therapy would have been for you to write on the subject, but what mm. we saw and endured must never be revealed. True, Holmes. Yeah. We have never even spoken on it. But do you believe that had we failed, if we had not arrived in time, if this strange ritual had seen its end? Who knows, Watson? Who knows? But you speak of the past. Yeah. What troubles me more is the future. True. Whatever do you mean? We eliminated, or have every reason to think so, a formidable threat to our society. But by doing so, we resurrected another, a hidden danger, one laden with hate and moved by vengeance, a ticking mm -hmm. bomb waiting. 
and a danger wearing a face I know far too well. Ooh. All right. Well, there we go, everyone. That was Sherlock Holmes The Awakened. And I must say, um, I still like the game. And it's still a pretty good Sherlock Holmes game. And it, it was neat to actually see, um, you know, two different stories, like, work together in that thing. Like, that, that whole Call of Cthulhu mythos kind of seems like a great blend to be in a Sherlock Holmes story. And I think the people who made this game really pulled it off pretty well. I mean, <laughs> it would have been maybe crazy if we actually saw maybe a glimpse that maybe Cthulhu was showing up, but... Now, nah. I would also have to say, it's kind of interesting how we can tell it's Cthulhu, and in fact, you know, if you look up on the web, it is mentioned that it is a Cthulhu, that it's, uh, this game is represented with the Cthulhu mythos, like, it involves it, but yet they never mention Cthulhu, uh, or anything of it, which is kind of an interesting thing. I mean, maybe in the documents there were, but I don't think there were anything that actually said the word Cthulhu or something. But yeah, we, that was, but anyway, that was what it was. Um, I do have to say that the, when it comes down to it, the game has some of the, the graphical flaws and everything. I mean, they're not bad, like you can make out everything pretty well, but again, they are definitely, definitely dated graphics and stuff. Uh, but again, the game came out in like 2006. I think it was, or 2007, I think it was released in 2007, or in some areas, I don't know, but it came out at around that time, and of course, if you remember, indie indie developed games back then weren't as, as like, graphically in, um, impressive as they are today and stuff, but yeah, it's, uh, it was pretty, it was okay, look, it's okay looking, and, but I would say there's like some little glitches and but small little glitches and odd bugs here and there in this game so it's not a perfectly made game but despite that I think the fact of the the whole I concept and the fact that they pulled it off which is Sherlock Holmes trying to solve a mystery that involved the Cthulhu mythos I think they pulled it off pretty damn well and uh, definitely I uh, definitely I would say this is definitely one of the better Sherlock Holmes games and you know there's definitely more to come. Well, anyway, I guess I don't know what else to say other than, well, um, do I recommend this title? Yeah, check it out. It's it's not that expensive. It's a it's a pretty damn good um, mystery story and everything. So if you have the urge to play something that involves Sherlock Holmes or involving Cthulhu or both, check this game out. Well, anyway. Everyone, thanks for watching my Let's Play. I hope you enjoyed my little playthrough through it. Um, I'm your point and critic gamer. Like and subscribe, and I hope to see you in my next Let's Play. See you later, everyone.